guys, this is Heather with the Everyday Escape Travel Agency. So I'm taking you on a part of our journey that we made to Asheville, North Carolina and the Blue Ridge Parkway. The Blue Ridge Parkway is a beautiful road running through parts of Virginia and North Carolina. It is a total of 469 miles in length and is full of many lookouts, points of interest and scenic stops to enjoy. If you're looking for something a little different this summer, we really recommend this area. It's full of scenery you just won't get anywhere else in the U.S. And don't forget to pack that camera. You'll definitely want to capture some of that majestic beauty you see at those many lookouts. There's just so much to see and do, whether it's hiking, camping, or even stopping off for a quick picnic. We left Asheville and we spent several hours going up and down the parkway and checking out the lookouts and the various stops and whatnot. And along the way, we realized we should have packed a cooler with some snacks and drinks and a packed lunch even. As you can see, there's just so many beautiful places to stop off and enjoy a nice picnic and, and take in the sights. So that's a tip we have for you is plan ahead. Take a cooler, take some snacks and drinks and a packed lunch, and plan to spend most of your day going up and down this beautiful parkway. There's so much to see and do along the parkway. One of the things we saw was Mount Mitchell. We wanted to go over and check that out as it is the highest peak east of the Mississippi, but it's worth it to get to the top and just see the beautiful scenery. And we're showing that here. When we checked out the visitor center and shop, we learned about the National Park Service passport book. Each national park is listed in this book by region and state. We recommend picking up one of these even if you've been to many of the parks before. Are you missing a stamp from the past visits? You can reach out to the park and oftentimes they'll send a stamp to you on a piece of paper that you can later add to your book. What a neat way to collect memories of your national park visits through the U.S. Click the link in the description box below to grab yours. In Asheville, we stayed at the Renaissance Hotel by Marriott. It's just on the outskirts of the downtown central district and very close to eateries, points of interest, and other sites to check out. Also, in keeping with COVID requirements, the Renaissance did have signs posted requiring masks and requiring social distancing. One of the fun eateries we found nearby is called Biscuit Head. It's about a five minute drive from the hotel, but it's worth it for a nice brunch or breakfast. We stayed in Asheville for our anniversary and we were looking for somewhere to go for a nice anniversary dinner. One tip I can definitely share with you is this. We recommend making your reservations in advance. If you find yourself in downtown Asheville and you're looking for something a little different, we totally recommend this restaurant. Check the description box below for the link to this restaurant and Biscuit Head. If you're looking for something fun to do in Western North Carolina and Virginia, we totally recommend checking out the Blue Ridge Parkway and Asheville. Looking for a fun trip for the fall? Definitely check out this area. When the leaves turn, it is going to be absolutely magical. Looking for a travel agent but don't know where to start? Contact us at the information below and we'll help you plan your escape from the everyday. Thank you for watching our video. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe below and turn on that notification bell. It'll let you know when we upload our new videos. Thanks again for watching.